Hi everybody, welcome back to OC Avery. Now, it is the end of the show season and that was marked with the All British Show as the final show for myself. So that means that all the birds have now completed this year's show season and it's now time to get them fit and ready for the breeding season. We've covered different things across the past few videos on conditioning. Well, today is all about fitness because all of those show birds that we had all the weight on and had them in their own separate cages have now moved out and they are in the flights and we have moved things about now to give the birds the best chance and the best fitness as possible as that we can provide them so we've changed a few things so we've moved multiple birds out to different places which I'll show you soon we've also moved the hybrid pairs about we have moved canaries in we've moved canaries out we've done a bit of all sorts and we've got a new bird in as well to show you which I picked up at the old British so hopefully you do enjoy today's video and pick up some tips along the way. For regular viewers of the channel, you probably recall that we had the red poles in here and they each had their own cage. We divided them out and we had two perches either side of the door for them to uh, hop across and we give them a, a more fattening diet for the show season uh, and we had different things like these little show cage hangers and we had them on the front so we could train them for the shows. Well, obviously they are no longer in here. Um, we have moved them outside so the cock birds uh, have gone out to the flights which we'll visit shortly and the hens they have moved into the large cages here uh, and these are three foot long, three or two and a half feet tall uh, and about 12 to 14 inches deep so what we can do there is get them fit by flying up and down flying side to side so that's our hens sorted we'll go and look at the cocks soon but for this section well all the dividers are out the twite pair which were in there is now in here to get fit so we've got a, a perch on this end and a perch here between that there's about three and a half feet and um, between that perch so that's going to help get them fit by that flying to and fro. And we've got some cover in the back. Now, that's just a fake piece of Christmas tree there. Just to get them comfortable with it, used to it, uh, we're going to be using fake Christmas tree for the the uh, twice sort of nest sites this year rather than the real stuff but we'll come round to that relatively soon so the twice are in there we've got our canary ends in here and our canary hens in here so we've, we've separated them out so we've got seven pairs of feeders we're going for this year but we've made sure that we've got the spares so there's probably about nine or ten hens uh, that we've we've got currently so i've put about five in each so we've put the smaller lighter breeds in here so razzas irish uh, a fife cross and uh, a feeder and then we've put the sort of new colors and the portuguese harlequins uh, in in the lower one just to separate them out a bit so we don't put too many together give them space from each other and monitor a bit more of what we're giving them so we kind of know uh, but i did mention we'd also got a new canary in, well, a new bird in and that's a canary so brian rayfield was kindly gifted me a cinnamon yellow cinnamon norwich now this is a very good quality bird he won uh, best with his cinnamons at the old british as well so you know they're, they're an accomplished line and very nice birds and he, he kindly gave me one now i believe it's a hen i'm going to get it dna sexed with avigenics uh, and I will let you know uh, the results as soon as I get them. Um, but yeah, so we've got this Norwich hen, so we might go for a pair of Norwich this year if I can get a nice buff green uh, Norwich in for it. Or if we struggle to get a cock Norwich, or then we might try something like a red pole or a green finch and we'll try a mule with it. Because it is a good quality bird and I don't want to waste it. Um, so we're doing that just to get them fit. It's a very similar one. We've got a perch either end for at least these guys. For the ones with the Norwich in and the, the lighter breeds, I have put a perch in the centre, but there's about two feet between the perches. Plenty to get them fit, to keep them active. So that's why we've done the hens in here, is to monitor them a bit more closely, because the hens have got a bit more of a, a bigger job on hand this breeding season than the cockbirds. Realistically, what's the cockbird's job? It's just to fill the eggs. Uh, they do feed the youngsters, don't get me wrong, and, and it is good when they do, uh, but you do get points where they aren't. So we need to really make sure we build the hens up a bit more i think uh, is the best way of, of saying it uh, so that they're all right so that's why we've done that with the canary hens and we do want them to be ready slightly earlier uh, than the native birds as well 
You probably also recall that we had the green finch cocks and the hens uh, and a few mules in the other bird room. So what they've done is we've moved those out to these flights. Now these are the older set of flights. They're eight feet long and we've got three which are eight feet by two and a half feet and one here which is eight feet by four feet wide. So we've put the cocks and the hens separate in there and that includes the canary cocks as well. We've dished them out in groups so we keep a smaller number of birds together to give them the best chance of getting all the food they need. Uh, then there's less competition for different, you know, food, water, bathing, purchase, everything like that, that it will make a difference. So let's have a look at those, see how they're getting on. <laughs> good few weeks since you've been in this set of flights now the long-term viewers uh, of the channel will know we built these in about May time uh, last year so we've built these for the purpose of building green finches um, but these are perfect for getting some of the smaller finches fit so we've got red poles in here so we've got two groups of cock birds we've got four in each flight we've come further down here well we've got our uh, canary bully pair here our white norwich with a native bullfinch hen next down we have our normal red pole with a native bully pen and on the end flight we have our european green finch with a siberian bullfinch hen so that's our three hybrid pairs now the idea of this is to try and get them fit uh, and I think it's going to work nicely. They're good sized flights, they're six and a half feet tall so especially when we put the, put the, the water lower down which is what I do, uh, I put a water bath on the floor so they can go down bath in that, drink in that um, as they see fit uh, for the moment at least and what that's going to do is that when they're on the perches that are about four, five feet off the ground they've got to go down to drink and therefore they then have to fly back up and that takes a lot more muscles than side to side flying. So that's just one of the things uh, which we're doing now. I must quickly apologize for the plastic. It does look a bit rough, um, but we've had to do that uh, over the past, you know, over the winter because of the strong winds we're still getting and the very, very cold temperatures, which do, you know, have a knock on effect to the birds. So. This is, that's how we're doing it and, and you, you'll have noticed that in the uh, the flights we've previously looked at and these flights we've got a, a fair bit of uh, Christmas tree and pine in there. Well, I, I've picked this up uh, recently. It's it's from, uh, you know, it, it's from safety so it's not, it, there's not been anywhere near avian flu or anything so I know this is safe um, and it's brilliant you know we've put it in especially the red polecocks they're all over it they're picking at the, the little needles uh, they're chewing at things and there's a few shots here of them uh, just ferreting about in it and it's keeping them active keeping them healthy and they are really enjoying it and it is making a difference um mainly the red poles are doing that but you know the greenies have enjoyed that as much the canaries are not too bothered but it's a bit of cover for them and a bit of something for them to mess about with so they're happy enough um, and of course we have our feeders on on the uh, the fronts but we've got them inside the uh, the flights for the moment just for ease of getting through uh, but we're putting all our seeds in there so they're getting a normal seed mix with uh, some conditioning seed in there as well so it's working quite nicely they're all happy now this is something i need to ask your advice on as a viewer if you do keep Norwich, how do you get your Norwich fit? If you could leave that in the comments below, because I've noticed with the Canary Bully Pair, the Norwich cock is spending an awful lot of time down on the floor. So what I've done is I've made a few perches at different heights, which are lower down, so he could fly his way and work his way up to the top perches. Um, but he doesn't seem to be awfully bothered about doing that. So I'm interested to see what you're doing. Uh, and, and, and if you can give advice to myself and hopefully to other viewers who would be interested as well, that would be greatly appreciated. So, uh, but hopefully within a, you know, a few weeks, the Norwich will be fine and it'll get to the top purchase. If it doesn't, and we're a month from sort of breeding season, from April when we'll be pairing up, putting nest sites in and 
doing doing everything else, uh, then I will move them to a different cage, a large cage where they can fly more side to side. There's a bit of up, you know, up flying. Um, but other than that, I'm I'm, I'm unsure. I, I'm questioning what what my options are here. So if you've got an idea, let let me know, and I'd be interested to hear it. So now that the show season is complete, it means that we don't have to keep the birds, or the show birds at least, on a fatty diet anymore. And it really means that we can step up a gear now with conditioning. So like I've mentioned, the birds are in the flights, which is brilliant, and it's going to make a huge difference on the fitness of them. But it's also time that we slightly change our food. I mentioned a few weeks ago, we're starting now to uh, condition them with egg food germinated seed, uh, conditioning seed and stuff like that. Well, we only did that once a week. Well, now it's gone up to two uh, two times a week. So I'm doing that on a routine. I know that a Sunday morning, they're getting a dose of egg food for them. And on a Wednesday morning, they're getting conditioning seed, germinated seed. They're getting two two things, different things uh, a week. And then it's just, it is really making a difference. Um, I've noticed that the canaries are really starting to improve. We're seeing a lot more singing from the canaries now, uh, the cockbirds at least, um, and it is making you know it is making a difference, and that's obviously showing that it is taking effect. Uh, for the red poles, they are starting to squeal, the cockbirds, uh, and they're chattering away. So they're you know it's starting to move forward, which is a great sign. No greenies singing yet. Bullies are starting to whistle, as you, you might have heard, uh, but. You know, it's still early days yet. It's six weeks until we're we're pairing up, uh, getting nests in and, and stuff. So we've got we've got plenty of time to do that. Uh, but just you know, that's how we are going to be conditioning now. So up it to twice a week, uh, and then come the start of March, it'll be up to three times per week, and it will not get much more than that. Um, and we'll do something different every time. So it might be a, sat a Sunday evening, a uh, Sunday morning they have egg food, a Wednesday morning they have um, germinated seed, and a Friday morning they have conditioning seed. And we'll just work it like that, and really, it will really start to take effect and build them up. Anyway, guys, that does bring us to the end of this week's video. A bit of a shorter one for you. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and you've picked up a few tips along the way. And if there is anything that you want to share, drop me a message, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and I'll be sure to share it for you so we can get more people uh, into this hobby. And if you want to comment below uh, with any advice you have, then please feel free to do so. So just thank you ever so much for watching, everyone. Next week, we will be back here again. Hopefully, we'll have uh, a lot more to, to look at. We'll have, hopefully, some results on that Norwich. Uh, and those special birds will be coming in soon. I keep saying it. Uh, don't worry. It will be as soon as possible. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Please subscribe down below if you're new here. Smash the like, and I'll see you in the next one.